Most beginners, when they first start welding on thicker materials, make the same critical mistake. They will take their pieces of material, butt them together, they'll tack, and then they'll connect the two tacks. Now why this is wrong is they are creating a surface weld. Because even when the machine is set properly for the thickness of the material, on thicker material it only has the ability to liquefy about 15% into the surface of that material leaving about 85% of that joint unwelded. So what did they do wrong? Well, what they did wrong is they skipped a step. This step is referred to as chamfering. Now chamfering is defined as the removal of the joining base edges of the two pieces of base material to create a channel within the piece at 45 degrees or greater. Now what does this do? What does chamfering do? First and foremost, it's creating depth into the piece. Second, you're creating more surface area to be liquefied by your arc. And then of course you have a channel to be filled in with your filler material. Now the greatest thing about V chamfered butt joints is you have these three very distinct lines to follow as you are welding, just like line paper when you're learning how to write. The A and C edges are the completed surface that you're creating. And then B is the very bottom of your channel, what I like to refer to as the B line or the butted surface.